So hi everyone, welcome back. So today I am making a fast ackee and sawfish recipe. I'm doing this recipe for, for my son actually. It's his birthday today. Today is October 14th. Today is his birthday. And one of his favorite um, meals is ackee and sawfish with festival or fried dumpling. So with this I'm just making um, festival. Okay, my daughter is over here making, um, doing some chocolate covered strawberries. Lovely. And we picked up a chocolate cake. Yeah, so guys, we have our ackee here. I used uh, the Grace brand ackee. Look at it, nice and whole, right? If you know what, if you um, buy it in an ackee and you open it and it's like mushy, throw it away, it's not good. This one is so fresh and nice. Well, as fresh as you can get it here in Toronto. Um, yeah, so here I have my veggies and stuff like that cut up nicely. And I'm boiling out the salt fish. There it is. So, we're going to put all this together and I'll show you how I put everything together. Okay, stay tuned. I'm boiling it out for about 10 minutes. Um, I know that some people probably just take it from the can and put it in the skillet, but no, I need to at least boil it for 10 minutes. You can steam it if you want, um, but this is the way I do it. So. Yeah, so it's coming together nicely, guys. So here's my saltfish. So I boiled out most of the salt, and I have all my veggies here. So what I'm doing, I'm doing some festival here. So when I finish the festival, then I'll put the aki together. Okay, so I'll show you guys when we're almost finished. Guys, so here's the aki I used. It's a Grace brand. They have other brands that's real good too, but this is the one I always use. And you can find this at Walmart or I guess most grocery stores by you. Okay, so here's what the Aki looks like after I finished um, steaming it. So I'm all, almost ready to put everything together. Okay, so here's the festival, nice and fried up. Only one in the pot. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm um, sauteing the onions with the red pepper. A lot of people don't put red pepper or any kind of sweet pepper or even tomato, but I do. So it's your preference, guys. Okay, so I'm doing this. Uh, let this saute up for maybe two minutes. If you want it to get a little bit limp, you want the onion and the red pepper to get soft, a little bit soft. And then I'm gonna add the salt fish. Okay guys, I forgot to mention, okay, to this saltfish, I have, see, a little piece of um, thyme, and I put uh, the pepper in there, and I also have some of that, you know what I use, uh, that Grace fish soup mix, but I strain it because you don't need the, you don't need the noodles, okay, so you just want the powder part of it. It gives your saltfish great flavor. Try it. And here we have the ackee. Okay, so I'm just gonna put everything together. Just saute this up. So, so now I'm ready to add my salt fish. that your stove is on medium. Okay, don't leave it on high because you don't want the onions to burn. Okay, so see now I added um, the green onion. So we have our onions, green onion, sweet red pepper, and salt put a little sprig of thyme in there and you're all good for your seasoning. Tomatoes. Stir this around for about 30 seconds. Okay, 
Okay, so now I'm ready to add the aki. So there it is. Nice. But be gentle. Be gentle when you're stirring this because you got to make sure that everything is incorporated. So just be careful. You don't want to mush up the aki, okay? Grandmother used to make aki, she used to put a nice piece of salt pork in it. <laughs> yeah, gives it a great flavor. Or some people just use like a nice piece of bacon. But in this case, it's just salt fish. So here we have it, guys. This is our completed aki and salt fish dish. And as I said, I made this dish um, today for my son. I'm gonna take it to him. And I made some festivals here. Voila, we're done. Okay, so right now Christian is packing away these beautiful chocolates. Chocolate covered strawberries. Christian, tell me, how did you make them? How did um, you make these? I melted the chocolate over the stove for hot water. Okay. I mean, yeah, over hot water, mm -hmm. and then you just keep stirring. And you mean you do it, yeah, slow, like a slow. Yeah, and it'll eventually melt, uh -huh. and then you just dip the chocolate. You dip the chocolate? I mean, dip the strawberries okay. in the chocolate. All right, okay. You know what I but mean. But they're real pretty, though. Thank you. Yeah, but you did something with a piping bag, too. Yeah, I just drizzled the top with a little bit of chocolate to make it look To make that pretty. design, it's real nice. Guys, so I'll show you. My son doesn't like to be on camera either, but this is he and Christian when they were, when they were little. That's him. I think that was kindergarten. And this was middle school graduation. Here they are. We're over at my son's and his wife there. And I'm just showing you this, the dessert. Okay, Idil, tell me what's here. She doesn't want to be on camera, so we just show her hand. Oh, we got some what did you get? Food here. Oh, some smiley some food. Steak. Yum. So tell us what, what, what's in there. Uh, there we got some beef stew here yeah. and yeah. some t bone steak. Beautiful. Okay. And, and his um, Akin selfish is over there. I think he's gonna save it for later. Oh, okay. Yeah, or in the morning, whatever. That yeah. looks so good, though. Good, eh? Yeah, it's beautiful. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. To you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> That's the conclusion of our Akin selfish and um, son's birthday. So you guys don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> All right, bye-bye.